Hey y'all, today on Grilling with Granddaddy Daddy, we're going to do some smoked pork tenderloin and some corn on the cob. Let's get to it. So we got our pork tenderloin, not to be confused with pork loin. This is the most tender part of the pig. And I don't really need to trim anything, not with these. But what I am gonna do, I'm gonna season them up with my rib. I'm gonna give a really good coating. I'll put the recipe for the rub in the description. Pat that on there, get it on the side. I wanna get these things completely coated with my rub. Flip it again. Okay, the goal is to get all four sides covered with the rub. We got that done. Now we're gonna shoot it up. I got some apple juice. I'm gonna take them both and just shoot them. About every inch or so, a little bit of apple juice. It only takes a few ounces, it doesn't take a lot. That's gonna make sure we're nice and moist. Now we're gonna take the big green egg and bring it up to 250 degrees, and we're gonna put these on the egg. So let's get to it. Hey, while we were injecting the tenderloins, we went ahead and put our expander in and we went ahead and got the corn on the cob on the grill because it's going to take it a little bit longer. All right, now we got our egg up to 250 degrees. So we're going to let things settle out. We're going to put the tenderloins on. We're going to cook them till about 135 and then we're going to sauce them up. So we've got our grill at 250. We've got our expander. But what I'm going to do, I've already had the corn on there for a little bit. We're going to cook these tenderloins indirect. So let me take this grate out. I'm going to put it in my plate setter. I'm going to put the egg spander back on the plate setter. All right, we're going to let those corn cobs continue to cook. I've had the corn on the cob on here for about a half an hour. And I know it takes it a little while to cook. But what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna pull the expander out and I'm gonna set it right here. Now I'll throw some hickory chunks in there so I can get some, some smoke on my pork tenderloins. I'm going to put my two tenderloins on here. And once again, we're going indirect. So they've been injected and rubbed. I rubbed them before I injected them just so that the injection will stay in them. All right, so now what we're going to do, all right, I'm going to take my thermopro, dual probe, indicator 300 foot range wireless <coughs> i'm gonna stick one of these in each piece of tenderloin and we're gonna pull them off about 135 because then i'm gonna sauce them and put them back on so let's let them go Okay, so we hit 135 degrees on our Thermapro temperature probe. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to paint them with a half and half mixture of ghost pepper barbecue sauce and sweet baby Ray's original. And we're only going to leave these on there for a few more minutes after I paint them. 
just want to give that sauce a little bit of time to get in there. And of course our corn on the cob is almost ready. And so far, this cook has only taken just a little bit less than an hour. Of course, corn on the cob is going to make it take a little longer than just the pork tenderloins. All right, let me roll these bad boys again. I'm going to leave them on there for about 10 more degrees. And then we're going to take the pork loin, the tenderloins off, and we'll wait on the corn to finish. Let's pull our thermal probe, temperature probes out of the pork tenderloin. And let's take them off. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can zoom in enough. See those juices. If you can tell, that's some juice running out of there. All right. Corn on the cob is going to be a few more minutes. And that's not really a big part of this cook because all y'all know how to cook corn on the cob. But look at that. Look how tender that is. See my smoke ring? All right. Let me have a taste. Mmm. Man. Juicy, tender, that mix of the ghost pepper sauce and the sweet baby rays got a little kick to it. Wow, that is really good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that does it for this edition of Grilling with Granddaddy. I still got my corn on the cob on the grill. Generally, I cook my corn at about 300, 350 degrees. So I'm doing it at 250, so it's going to take a little bit longer. But since I got the tenderloins off, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crank it up some. But that wasn't part of the video. That's just something extra. So anyway, y'all don't forget, if you're interested in any of Thermopro's products, uh, click on the link down below, because we are partnered with them now. And uh, you get you a 15% discount. And just use coupon code THERMOPROTEAM. Other than that, until next time I see y'all at the grill, y'all keep on grilling.